What you're about to see is probably the dumbest video idea I have ever had. It is so dumb though that I have to upload it. I know some of you are going to like this one. Enjoy. Also, so you understand this video, make sure to read the channel description. Has this ever happened to you? I want to play my Wii, but my family wants to watch Home and Garden TV. Why, God, why? Or maybe this has happened to you. No, the TV isn't working. I'm pressing all the buttons, but nothing's happening. Why, God, why? I'm almost positive this has happened to everyone at least once. No! There's a piece of paper over the AV cable input! I can't get it off! I just want to play Zelda! Why God, why? There has got to be a better way! Well now there is! Introducing the portable DVD player! You can play your games anywhere, anytime, on the go! Portable DVD player? Those things never give you all the accessories you need to play games. It even says so right in the frickin' user manual. Look over here, look at page 15, connecting to a gaming system. On your gaming system, use a gaming adapter, asterisk. Gaming adapter, not included with all portable DVD players. I'm tired of getting ripped off by electronic companies that don't include all the accessories to get all the features and everything that you wanted that you thought you paid for. You don't have to buy anything extra. What? That's right, I'll show you. First, disconnect your gaming system from the TV in the front or the back, wherever you need to. Hey, I thought there was some a piece of paper on the thingy over here. Never mind that, but I, now I can play my game. Show it up. Alright, everything is now disconnected. The next thing you want to do is find a VCR or some other input-output device, such as a DVD player, and pull it out and look around the back side. Next thing that you're going to want to do is take your game system of choices, AV plugs like so, and put them into the input side of the VCR. Now, just note that you should match the color. The next thing you're going to want to do is take the AV cables from your portable DVD player. No, not those. The cables that only come with our DVD player and plug them into the corresponding audio and video slots like so. When you're done with that, plug in the other side of our specially designed cable in the corresponding colors into the back of the VCR again. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn on your portable DVD player and wait for it to power up, which only takes a second or two. Then what you want to do is press the AV in out button right on the front here, and then wait for it to switch over to the connection on your VCR. And whoa, would you look at that? We've got VCR TV going on here, but you want to go to your VCR's line in section and turn on your re and Whoa, look at that, we've got some Wii. Next, put in your game disc of choice. I want to play Zelda into the Wii, just like so. Next, put any accessories that you need on top of the front of the DVD player, just like so, such as Wii sensor bars. And with only one minute of setup time, you are ready to play your Wii. Snorlax? No problem, young one. But how much does it cost? That's a selling factor for me. Only four easy payments of $999.99. Wow, what a deal! That's only... <sighs> well, that was completely uncalled for. 
Buy your own portable DVD player today. It's cheap and easy to set up. The shipping and handling charge is only $99.99. We will not ship to anywhere in the country or on the world for the business matter or even in the space. See you guys later.